Hey folks, this is Maria Brew joining you again. We are adding content which you guys have provided. Listen, I want to thank all of you, uh, my you know the subscribers, for posting questions. As I've said before, num on numerous occasions, you know the content of this video, in a large measure, is created by your questions. Our answers to your questions creates content. And as I have always you know, said, uh, the question of one or two is usually the question unasked by many. So I'm sure that in answering the questions that are posted on the channel, we're addressing the concerns of quite a few people. So thank you for doing that. And we encourage you to continue posting questions or anything you need clarification on folks. So this next question, very interesting. It says, fast track residency requirements for investors receiving passive income. So if you own a rental that pays $2,500 a month, does it mean $2,500 before expenses or after? This is a very good question, and I'm glad that it was posted. First of all, I want to clarify that for passive income, the minimum threshold established by law is 2000 per month per principal and 250 us dollars additional you know, per each additional family member so if we're just dealing with one person then it's two thousand dollars now what the state wants to see is the amount of the passive income that comes into your account that actually comes into your account so if you have rental income in the amount of 2500 and keep in mind 2000 is the minimum what they want to see is that the 2500 enters your account on a monthly basis and in fact one of the requirements when you apply for a residence visa via the consulate is that you have to provide three months of bank statements corporate bank statements if you if your the passive income comes from a company and or personal banking statements okay and in those statements what they're looking to establish is the income that's entering into your account now the fact that after you receive it you pay out expenses is of no consequence because if you're able to show that 2,500 a month is what you rented this property for and 2,500 a month is what enters into your account, mission accomplished. You know, what happens with that 2,500 thereafter is not what they're concerned with. They want to, they, they want to establish a paper trail. 2,500 is what you rented out for, 2,500 is what you receive, okay? Now, we're going to get into, because there was another question about what kind of documentation you have to provide, we're going to get into that into a, um, a future video, but here, that's what they're looking to establish, okay? They're looking to establish what you get per month, what enters into your account. And by the way, this applies with, you know, irrespective of the source of the income. For instance, if you are a pensioner, you know the minimum is 1500 per month. So you would have to show 1500 per month coming into your account. That's what they look to establish, all right? So I hope it answered your question. And as I said, we're gonna be addressing what kind of documents are, are you expected to provide in order to establish solvency, okay? I'm going to be addressing that in detail in a future video, but I hope this answered your question. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out via WhatsApp at the number listed in the comments section.